the fourth round of the FA Cup, Luton at home. But remember, the form book goes out of the window. Bracewell causing possession there. Priest now for Luton. Thorpe. This is Thorpe. What a goal there from Luton Town. Scored by Tony Thorpe. Ten minutes to go to half-time and Luton have grabbed the lead. Lee down for Bracewell. Clark. Now Beardsley. Beardsley. They've got the penalty. It was in fact Harper's tackle there. Morgan Sommer, American keeper. Now here goes Beardsley. Peter Beardsley, his 15th of the season, and they won't come more important than that one. After the match, Keegan took reporters down for a pitch inspection. It was more like Tynemouth Beach and no good for United's passing game. But would Kenilworth Road be any better? Well, Newcastle never expected David Fleet's side to emerge as the cup team of the season. Just 16 minutes on the clock and John Hartson touches the ball round Mike Cooper. The keeper's left stranded and Luton take the lead. It was another nightmare for United's giant goalkeeper who committed himself but missed out. It wasn't just Keegan who was out of his seat on a pulsating night of cup football. It was spectacular action with Barry Venison keeping Newcastle alive with one of the clearances of the season. And in the second half, United's best chance. Peter Beardsley smacked this shot against the upright, and it was looking ominous. With 13 minutes to go, it was all over. Scott Oakes escaping Beresford's desperate lunge down the left, and then he breaks dangerously. Hooper did his best, but there was no cover as Des Linton gave Oakes the chance to finish off what he'd started. Afterwards, Keegan was big enough to applaud the planning by one of football's most experienced managers.